What's up everybody, this is Gleb from the Cell Frame content team. Today we've set up a Raspberry Pi in our office and we're going to show you how to set up a Cell Frame node on it. There's lots of tutorials on how to get your Raspberry Pi up and running. Uh, we're going to go ahead and skip to uh, the, having the Linux all set up and starting to work with, uh, uh, with setting up the node. So here you can see we're logging into the Pi from another computer. And the first command, sudo i, lets you interact with the root. And then, um, well, we're going to publish this whole list of commands, so you can use copy and paste. And the first couple of commands are going to involve updating and upgrading the Linux software on the Raspberry Pi. Make sure you have all the right libraries in place. Uh, i got to spell upgrade correctly. There you go. Thanks, my man Ilya, for doing this video for me. All right, so this is uh, this update process is going to take a little while, and we're going to go ahead and skip ahead until it's ninety nine percent complete. So, um, and then one more command for updating to download some more libraries. And this one's going to install a bit more quickly, so we'll just watch that. Shows you how much memory you need. Okay, and we're back to the root. And now we're going to go to pub.cellframe.net and find the Linux directory pub.cellframe.net slash Linux will get you there. And you're going to want to find the node version. That's the most recent, and that is designed for the ARM64 structure that is uh, on the Raspberry Pi. And copy that address. And here we're going to input the command to get that package and download it the Raspberry. All right, that's complete. And here is a two-part command that's going to go ahead and unpack and install the cell frame node. dpkg and the name of that file. Okay, now we're going to be asked a bunch of questions. Um, you know, if you want to go auto online, you say true. Debug mode, we don't need that one. That's a false. Accept connections, we do want to do that. These are going to be a couple that are, you can just keep the defaults for the server address and the server port. And the notify server address and the notify server port. And now it's going to ask us if we want to enable all the different available networks. We want to enable all of them and then choose the full node option. So right now uh, we don't have master nodes yet, but you can set up a full node. So here it's asking us for the Minkowski network. We also want a full node for that. The main net, the backbone, and the Molina network. And we don't need to run any Python plugins at the moment. All right, so basically we've set up the node. Once it's, these processes are complete, and we can go ahead and start testing it and checking it out. This uh, command will look at the status. You can see that the node is active and running. And a log of what's going on there. And you can see the tasks, CPU, etc., etc when it was set up 13 seconds ago and 
all that other good stuff. Okay. Now this next command, we're gonna look at what version of the node we have set up. And you can see that the node version is 51.292. Right. Now we're gonna check out the status on one of the networks. And sub zero, and you can see that it is in a, in the, the state is in sync chains, and the target state is to be online. So, it seems to be in the process of getting online. I'm gonna try the same thing with Minkowski. Aha! But we wrote the name of the chain wrong. It's actually Kelvin Minkowski. So here it shows you all the available chains the four chains that we have running right now, three test chains, and the beta version of the main net. Okay, so now we fixed it, and KLVPN Minkowski is also in the same state of connecting. Active links three from three. Okay, so now we can play around with it. Uh, there's a few test commands that we've listed uh, in the list of commands that we're going to publish. And this first one is going to look at the backbone chain. So here we were displaying the backbone chain, the different blocks, and hashes and dates and time. So you can see that we are connected and uh, retrieving information from that chain. Uh, so now this next command uh, will allow us to uh, get an overview of the processes that are happening. Uh, you can see the memory usage, and everything else that's going on here uh, in our node. All right, so now, um, so yeah, that command was the HTOP command. All right, so now the next thing we're going to do is to do a test uh, creation of a wallet. So here we'll see Ilya typing out this command, but you can, of course, just go ahead and paste that in from our list. Creating a wallet new. Then we will be naming the wallet. It will be called test. And it's going to be on the KelvPN Minkowski network. All right, and just like that, uh, the test wallet has been created. Uh, so we can see that basically everything is up and running. You know, this, uh, I'm not a Linux guy, so this is all pretty cool for me interacting with computers in this way. So uh, I don't know how many of you out there watching are uh, Linux experts, but, you know, um, even if you're not, you can do these basic steps and uh, have fun with it. And that's it for me. So uh, see you guys later back on the uh, Cell Frame YouTube channel. Peace.